chapter 1 computers and in components so we have discussed various aspects of computers the application of computer see computers are now the most important tool used by human beings as i mentioned earlier the mobile in your hand is a kind of mini computer only actually smartphone because it has android it has operating system it has processor so all the characteristics of a computer lies there it is very important nowadays when we talk about ipo that is input process output so this is a cycle basically ipo is in put you give some input you get some output and in between you have some processing because uh, as said in the book computer is not a magic box nothing is done automatically you have to feed certain things you have to give the instructions those things are only automated and they can be done again and again over and over again without tiring and that can be represented the result can be represented in the human readable form so this is the input whichever input you give the output you get inside this you have a processor or processing is done with help with the help of the memory so to make a cup of tea just take an analogy that you need uh, say some ingredients like water sugar tea leaves milk these are all inputs you would require and what uh, you'll get in response means output of course when you're trying to make a cup of tea you'll get a tea as the output and the process in this is you have to boil all the ingredient and you know in a bowl and you have to filter it strain it let us come to the ports and cables so this is the you know back side of a typical say desktop pc or a personal computer now here we have different uh, see port port is nothing but the medium or the point where the data is is transferred into the system into the system and out of the system means inside and outside so first of all this one these two as you see here in the blue and green color these are ps2 ports these are very simple six pin low speed serial connections serial connection means data go one by one means this will come only after this and they'll go serially so if you select to use this usb keyboard and mouse you can easily disable ps2 because nowadays most of the keyboard and mouse they come with the usb port right then we have vga monitor you see this uh, this connection this connection because this is a female this is a male so the connection is done like this that you connect the vga monitor this is a cable for connecting the vdu uh, vga display unit with this particular pc or a system so vga means a video graphic array this is used to connect the monitor the display device to the computer and it has a very uh, good resolution and you know uh, from the bunch of or from the palette of 262144 is able to show you 256 color so the resolution also very it may have 320 by 400 and 640 by 480 then the parallel port as you see here this is the parallel port parallel port data is not like this but like this so the data this one goes simultaneously with this one and the data is nothing but 0110 type things only so printers and other devices they can be either parallel or serial so most of the printers they are parallel port ethernet port this is the ethernet port this is for connecting to the to the network or wired network and you see most of the broadband routers if you have it in your home they use this ethernet port ethernet port then you have s video port this is your s video port so if you want to connect the out the actually s video is for uh, super video short short form of super video see this uh, monitors they only or they are designed to show rgb signals while the television or the others because monitor is somewhat uh, you can say specific to your this technology computer technology but the tv technology has some other thing to show means luminance chromatics etc so you want to convert these two or you want to connect these two 
For that, this is a port, SVD port. You need, of course, to have a C. This is a female jack and this is a male jack. USB port, these are certain USB port, four USB port as you can see. So as I said earlier also, we have come up to 3.1 and this is quite high. The speeds are very good, USB. Uh, this is actually a protocol, universal serial bus is a protocol. Protocol means the guidelines, the electronic and the physical characteristics, this comes under the protocol, what exactly protocols are. So, various uh, digital cameras and memory card readers, uh, they are connected to the USB port. And USB card readers are typically faster than the camera and readers that connect to their serial port. You have this uh, firewire also, this is quite fast. So, the, it supports around 12 MBPS of uh, data transfer or firewire. One more aspect of a USB port is that a single USB port can be used to connect around 127 peripheral device, means other devices like the mouse, the modem, as keyboard like this. And the important thing is, previously, you know, uh, 10 years or 15 years back, when you used to connect the mouse and keyboard, you have to restart the computer because it won't work. But now the USB has allowed us for plug and play and hot plugging. Uh, Capability that is you connect your mouse or keyboard or any other device which is USB which, which uses USB You connect and it will start and you disconnect it will stop. You don't have to restart the system again and again Then you have this port which is called as firewire IEEE 1394 So this is a cabling technology for transferring data to and from the digital devices at very high speed and this is made by Apple computer this Actually, IEEE is, uh, you can say, uh, a standard making institution. So, it has given a 1394 IEEE 1394 code or number to this firewire. Then you have this uh, mini audio jack. Of course, you know, we are interested in listening to the songs and uh, recording our voice. These are all done by these audio jacks. So let us summarize what we have learned. Data is what? Data is the collection of unprocessed, see, not processed facts, figures and symbols. And information is the that form of data which is actually being organized, meaningful and is useful also for our decision making purposes. The hardware refers to the component that can be seen or touched, that means they are tangible. So it consists of uh, input devices, the output devices, the system units, the storage devices and communication devices. Also software is a set of instructions that tells the computer to perform or do certain tasks. Then we have seen the primary memory which helps in very fast execution of the program and it comprises of uh, RAM or ROM. Then you have secondary memory, you also call it as auxiliary memory. So it helps in uh, storing the data permanently using uh, the available storage devices like the hard disk, the DVD and the USB. And the operating system is the computer program that will manage all the other programs stored in the computer. The IPO is input process uh, output cycle. Every system has to do is following this scenario only. You have to feed a good because it follows the garbage in garbage out. You have to give the inputs, proper inputs so that you get the proper result. And most uh, keyboard, they are now attached with USB port and previously it was PS2. And pointing device, you know, they are through serial port, PS2, mouse port or USB port. And also, if you want to secret or, you know, hide your data while sending or while uh, mostly trans in, in the transmission it is done. So this process of decoding and encoding is called the encryption and decryption. So this was all about the first chapter, computer and its components. We'll be taking next chapters in the next session. Thank you so much.